So, fine, in the current example we use the server to output the data we have previously in entered in the web form. Unfortunately, that, the, uh, that is an incorrect way of using servlets because you should never use the servlets to directly send the messages and make the responses to the client. Uh, you should always try to use the servlets as a model view controller uh, that operates and manages GSP pages to show views to the client. So we will slightly modify our servlet uh, uh, to make it uh, like a model view controller servlet that uh, uh, shows us the uh, GSP pages and uh, so that we we would not access the GSP pages di directly in our uh, URL uh, string. So to give our servlet ability to manage the servlet. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, to manage the GSP pages, we use uh, interface called request dispatcher. We can access it by uh, calling our uh, servlet context. Do its, uh, we just uh, call the uh, method from the parent class, uh, base class HTTP servlet, and uh, the name of it is uh, get servlet context. Here it is, and then we retrieve our request dispatcher. And here we type in as a string type uh, which GSP page we want to show our client. Let's say we want to show him index.gsp page, and uh, then forward them our uh, request and response references like that. first one is the request and second one is the response so let's try how it looks now uh, now we wanna create uh, we wanna request servlet itself not the GSP page like in, uh, in the first example but uh, directly servlet and it should show us the GSP page Let's try. Run on server. Restart server. Okay. And uh, you look now. The URL looks different. It it now uh, shows us that a uh, request is sent to the servlet example uh, servlet, and uh, it sh uh, by these lines it shows us the the index GSP page with our web form. Uh, now when we send the okay, here right. when we submit the data we will uh, send the, these data to our servlet uh, to avoid uh, getting back our index GSP page with form uh, let's say we will uh, create some condition here like uh, if these parameters um, not equals null I'm sorry equals null or the second one equals null then we show our client the index GSP which is uh, our form page and let's say now we bring just return uh, to avoid processing the rest of the our method so let's test it context for loading looks like it works 
So when we send the request with the submit button, then uh, this should not work and we should not get the index GSP page again. But instead of that, the rest of the our method should uh, process our request. So we get the two variables here and instead of uh, doing like we previously did is uh, using output stream to output directly to our client uh, we now we will, we will use uh, the request dispatcher to show our uh, output uh, GSP view so delete that and let's cre create another GSP page and call it output dot gsp and here in body uh, let's say let's print some uh, heading your first and last name is And here we should add some uh, JavaScriptlet, and we do this in that way. Like on a uh, PHP, we uh, we were using that kind tags. Yeah. Now we use instead of that we use the these. Okay. Let's create some uh, string variables here. First name and uh, to access the data that uh, our servlet sends to us, we should use the session scope variable, uh, which is available in all GSP pages, and that is. Uh, session then we will use method get uh, called get attribute and uh, just bring the attribute name that would be our uh, uh, first name and uh, here's some uh, casting exception because uh, get attribute always return the object and we want a string and that is simple to resolve just add casting to string let's do it for the our last name also and now let's make just uh, basic output and we we will use the output reference uh, available in all GSP pages and that is a GSP writer implementation so call out dot um, print okay let's try it that way and just include this in the output Yeah. Now we go back to our servlet and uh, after this we do it again and call our request dispatcher with the parameter the second page we have created and that is the output GSP. Let's forward our objects to them. And now we should the set these attributes to our request object uh, to this one we have received here. So set attribute first name. No, I'm sorry. This goes here, 
and here we type in the name we have requested here do it for last name I'm sorry yeah and the same okay let's try this example and hope it works uh, we do not need the output stream anymore oops, oops okay save it and let's try so here's our form and just refresh it and let's try to input some uh, data again so to remember uh, we now are doing following so um, sorry just extra import and uh, here we called our servlet, servlet example servlet uh, here it is um, it checked th that the parameter first name is null or parameter last name is null and uh, that appears to be true and that it uh, gives us the index gsp page we see it here index gsp page is our form so now when we will submit this form we will get back to our servlet and this will not gonna happen because uh, these are not nulls, nulls anymore so we'll continue with processing this method get the our parameters set the in the request um, attributes uh, called first name last name and uh, show the client output gsp page and when we show the client output gsp page here it is um, here's some heading information will be printed out then uh, requested uh, two um, attributes from session uh, first name last name and then print it out here so let's try it and type some first name and last name submit okay you see that the heading is printed fine but we have problems with uh, our um, our uh, um, data we have inputted previously in the form so let's debug this situation uh, I'm very sorry because um, I requested here the session reference that is incorrect you we do not use sessions right now so um, just uh, correct it to the request get attribute because we set the attributes to the request reference so let's try this way and let's see if it works so access our servlet okay let's try back button okay it shows us the form let's type in again our uh, first name and last name click submit and now it works fine you, sh you see the our heading and our uh, first name and last name we entered and uh, in the current e example um, the difference is that we do not use our server to send the response and print the data anymore we use it like a model view controller this is a very basic and simple example of, all of a model view controller um, it operates with the two GSP pages you can operate with the more GSP pages and uh, to to send the data back we use a GSP page with the all these uh, HTML head and uh, other stuff included so that we do not uh, manually uh, use the 
output stream to print them. Uh, we can include here the forms and uh, tables and some other HTML uh, things and uh, um, apply the some formatting here, colors and uh, so on. Fine, um, that was uh, just a quick overview of servlets in GSP. The very clean way uh, it was used in the early uh, Java web application development. Of course, we does not handle any specific cases when the client requests the our GSP pages directly via URL, but uh, that's that's why it's called just basic overview. So the time goes forward and the many powerful frameworks comes into play which is the main case of our studies so we will end up with uh, with these uh, GSP and servlet uh, applications and in the next video we will start creating our uh, uh, enterprise frame uh, um, enterprise web application uh, using Maven and uh, all the frameworks we discussed in the one of the first videos so uh, join uh, in the next video